Hi, my name's Sandy. I'm talking about capital. I don't know if I'm very qualified to talk about that. Uh, however, I am one and equal to every other human being in this world. So, I'm wondering today, what's behind the capital that's running the world markets? Uh, what's behind the paper that's being printed in and called money that we're using? I understand from some news reports that there actually isn't anything behind it. These, a lot of governments don't have anything behind the money they're printing. They're given the permission to print it so they can continue. Uh, I believe it's partly debt management. So a lot of the world's economies and governments are run on huge deficits in the billions, and I think I heard one in billion, billions of dollars. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, uh, you know, little me, but a common sense says to me, well, you know, this system isn't really working very well. And I definitely agree if something's not broke, don't fix it. If it's working really well, then my common sense is great. We'll keep it. The financial, the way our world is run financially does not seem to be working well. And a lot of this uh, precarious financial instability, what happens? Well, guess what? The poor get poor. Who suffers the most? You know, the vulnerable and the ones that are poor now. You know, and you can hide away in your ivory tower. Uh, the few of you or us, I have a pretty nice, safe life here. Fortunately, I'm middle class, so it could hit me. So if interest rates were to go up to 18% again, I'd lose my house. I don't know, maybe not this time I wouldn't. It did happen to me before, so perhaps this time I think I might rent out my basement and rent out all the bedrooms except one and just... I think I'd do that. I think I'd do anything not to lose my house this time. But I could. I could. So um, the middle class is uh, would be next to suffer. And, you know, you do hear, oh, there could be a depression. Definitely there could be a depression. Definitely. So, you know, what's behind the capital? I understand not much. Uh, who's got the power? Who's making these decisions? Maybe let's all us people who assume we're not so smart, but we do have common sense. Maybe we should start asking more questions and start taking some more control. And, um, what is the value of, of the resources? Well, you know what? It's not working. Our world isn't really working very well. We have wars uh, scattered all over the world. We have huge divide between the haves and have-nots, which is getting wider. <clears throat> more poverty. Children dying of starvation every day. There's a lot of violence in our world. And my common sense says if there are all, oh, and a lot of the wars are based on uh, thought of our uh, religion. And religion is an idea, right? A concept, a belief, which is based in thoughts in the mind. So it's not really physical. If you look at our world, practically speaking, here and look at the physical reality of the world. It's not doing well. It's not doing well. Nature's not doing well either. It's crying out in many different forms. So uh, my common sense says to me, perhaps we should focus on what's here. I think that we're being made fools of, you know. The capital in the world, what is it, what is it, what is capital? Is it a resource? Is it gold? I don't have any control of any of that stuff. The big corporations do, right? Money is power. God. Runs the show. Uh, and there's some powerful people that make decisions. But I don't. Um, yeah. Just a few points about capital. I'm just, I, I think I'm a pretty average Joe lady living in Canada. Um, and 
I don't really know much about it. I feel pretty ignorant and that I don't have a lot of say. Um, I did join a community of people online called Destiny um, that also deal, are concerned with uh, making common sense decisions and something we call practicalism, practical, you know, making common sense decisions and, and walking practically on this earth in equality. So, whatever the answer is to the mystery, or to me, uh, around the high finances of this world and the world economies, because they're all, it all seems a little daunting, right? And there's books and books and books and written about, and economics and charts, and it's so fucking confusing. So I throw my hands up in the air and go, I don't, I don't know. But I do know. So that's really an excuse. That's really an excuse. I do know, and I am capable of speaking up and using my common sense and being one more person, one more vote, one more voice, joining in a group of people who are saying, stop, let's stop. Um, in fact, one of the things that I'm learning a lot about in the course I'm taking, the Destiny I Process course, is about my mind. And did you know that one of the reasons we do nothing to stop this, to stop some people having billions of dollars, and then most of the world, one dollar today, one, and maybe they have children in two. That's crazy. But we don't stop long enough, and the reason we don't, or one of the reasons we don't, is our mind is continually running. It doesn't stop. Your thoughts continually go on and on and on until you become aware of that. <clears throat> so the course I'm taking teaches us about this and not only about it but how to use it in your everyday life what it means why is it that way and what can we do about it and there are things we can do about it there's lots we can do about it we can change the world one person at a time and our um, we believe that it's best for all that we incorporate a equal money system so that each is guaranteed equal income from birth to death. So please uh, investigate destiny. <laughs>